Next up tonight, our second and final case of 2016 Series 2. Last one I'm doing, I promise. We always do a couple of Series 1, Series 2 update. Why not? All right, let's go over the teams. Bombs has the Royals. Amy has White Sox, Phillies, Rangers, Blue Jays. Brandon has the Rays. Brian E. Braves. Milok Tigers. Charlie has the Reds. Denny Dean Dodgers. Leroy Jenkins with the Nationals. Cranky Yankee Yankees. A-Rod's Needle. Angels Cardinals. Ken has Diamondbacks, Cubs, Indians, Twins. Ricky Wild Thing Vaughn. <laughs> Rockies, Marlins, A's, Padres, Giants, Mariners. Mike Pike. Mike Pike. I don't know what that is. Milwaukee Brewers. Boomstick Orioles Astros. Rudiker Mets. Sean has the Red Sox. And Vito with the Pirates. Mike Pike. Oh, like Mike Trout. This is a different type of fish. Got it. Can't get one past me, Rasmus. I'll always figure him out. Well, maybe. <clears throat> Rasmus keeps me on my toes with his clever names. All right. I want a Griffey buyback. Early in the morning. Well, I'm not that fast. Sean, who's winning the game tonight? Who's winning the match? Jonathan Villar, gold. Marcus Stroman, foil. Ichiro, Cal Ripken Jr. reprint. Hallowed highlights. Leah Thompson, first pitch. And a boot. Ichiro base. Robin Yount reprint, hallowed highlights. Wrigley Field, Jeff Geoff Britton. And our first hit is Adam Jones Scouting Report, Joycey Relic, the Orioles. Yes, the basketball game. Who's winning the basketball game tonight? Is it over for the Cavs or are they going to do it? I have no idea. Yeah, I kind of think the Warriors are going to win, but I don't know. Seashack Gold, tribute to the kid. Eddie Matthews, Maddox, Jesse Chavez. If I had to put my money on it, I would probably choose the Warriors, but I don't know. Back home. Draymond's playing, though, so. Blake Swihart Gold. All bets are off when Draymond's in there. There's that Mark McGuire home run record reprint. Uh, Jake Petreka. No, oh, that's just a base. I thought that was the gold. <laughs> Brandon Finnegan gold. Colin McHugh foil. We have our first negative, and it's the Philadelphia Phillies in the negative. Ichiro. Willie Mays reprint. Jim Brewer. Geoff. Everybody's Geoff to me. 
Addison Russell, future stars gold. The kid. Uh, Carlos Gonzalez must be a 42 parallel. 933 on the back. You can almost see the four on the back of his shirt. Oh, that's the shorter reprint. Will Myers foil? No, ma. Futures game commemorative pin. Felix Hernandez. 2004. Hold on, my zoom is not right. No, it is right. What the heck? It doesn't look right. I don't know. It doesn't look right to me. Jonathan Axford. Fred Anderson foil. Ozzie Smith. Kyle Larson, first pitch. Kyle, you emailed me about that 600-point car? I'll bet you anything some tool that watches my YouTube videos saw the code on YouTube and stole it off a screenshot. They do that. It's amazing. Carlos Martinez. You know what kind of loser you would have to be to do that? Chris Rusin. If you watch the video, I bet I accidentally showed the code a little bit or something. Eric Godel, autograph for the Mets, for Rudiker. I'll bet you anything that's what happened. They do that. I hate those reward points because sometimes they're backwards in the pack and I don't, I don't know when they're coming. And if I show it on camera and it goes on YouTube, they steal it. Tommy Pham, tribute to the kid. Matt Reynolds Black. Ichiro Puig reprint. Rizzo. I'll bet you anything that's what it is. I might have some points cards. I can send you one. I don't care. I haven't. I think I have a couple that I never redeemed. I don't even know if I have any. If I've ever redeemed any points. I probably should. I think I have some. Can you imagine doing that? I mean, I guess if you were like eight years old or something, but what if it's like a grown adult that did that? What if it's like a 30-year-old guy who just steals Panini code cards off of YouTube videos? <laughs> what a loser. I'll find you some points. Hector Rodon. Ichiro. Hank Aaron. Found highlights. George Bush, we have a coin card. Roberto Clemente, 1971, dime. Seven of 25. Vito, nice one. Yeah, we got pack searchers in this hobby. Bunch of losers. Bunch of freaking losers. Randall Grichuk. There's a 42 DJ LeMahieu. Short print. Record breaker. Cody Ashy. Robinson Chirinos, pink for the Rangers. Number to 50. Next time that happens, if you guys see me show the code on camera, I've done it before. I don't know why. I didn't think that I showed it that one time, but. I, after we before we upload the video to YouTube, I can email you the code really quick. Chichi Gonzalez Black. 
Try to remind me next time. I'll try to remember too. That way some loser. I hope you're watching this video, you loser. Loser. Some loser doesn't steal the code. Mike Leak. Giovanni Soto foil. Lincecum. Yankoto. A loser. La who the her. Justin Nicolino Gold. Stand the man reprint. What if it was one of you guys? What if one of you guys did it? What if it was Sean? Sean, you totally did that. Did you do it, Sean? Come clean. We won't judge you. You tried to do it, but it was already stolen by the time you saw the video. Where's Goshage? Mike Trout. That doesn't even look like Mike Trout. That's not Mike Trout. That's his chubby older brother. Tim Trout. I wish there was a way to set somebody up like that, like have a fake one, and then Panini could tell us like who did it, but Panini doesn't even care. Mark Kahn on gold, Tyler Chatwood. I've emailed them before and told them that someone stole the code off my video, and they're like, sorry, we can't do anything about that. Like, thanks. Thanks for making stupid points code cards that are easily stealable when you put them backwards in the pack constantly. Love it. CJ Chrome. Brilliant. Chris Archer. Tyler Duffy autograph for the Twins. Yeah, that's the other thing that happens. Well, that happens too. That's a little different. When people get a card that they don't know wasn't supposed to be theirs and they redeem it, eh, I'll take the blame for that. It shouldn't have been sent to them in the first place. Not everyone really watches all the breaks closely, too, so sometimes they get their shipments and they don't even know what cards are supposed to be theirs or not. Dylan Batonsis, I actually don't even get mad at that at all. I just get mad at myself and beat my helpers with a whip. Nolan Ryan. I mercilessly... beat them until they're into submission. That's my fault. Hold on one sec. What? Oh, I don't know. Lenny Dykstra, I have no memory of that. Josh Timlin.
David Wright, commemorative team logo pin for the Mets. Oh, you know what? There's a card that Robert... Oh, I gotta ask Robert. I totally forgot about that. Some card that I sent to Robert that I think he redeemed and then I paid I paid for the card to whoever didn't get it and then I was going to get the card whenever it got redeemed and I don't know what happened. Or maybe we... Maybe it did. I don't know. Man, I just barely remember that now. Will Myers, Joyce Relic for the Padres. Scott Casimir. We should do more basketball. I still have those cases of prism. What are we going to do with those, Poppy? Brandon Geyer. Avilon. Black parallel for the Dodgers. When are we breaking four cases of prism? Lou Brock reprint. Correa Gold. There you go. Amarista Foil. Dwight Gooden. Trika for the White Sox, gold, maybe. D.D. Gregorius, short print. Is that another 42? Are they all, are all the short prints 42? 8, 9, 3, 5. Let me see. 8, 9, 3, 3. It's a different code number on the back, so I think this is just a regular short print photo variation, D.D. Gregorius. Nope, never found the Piazza. Nobody ever came forward with the Piazza. Oops. Wrigley Field. Sean Tolleson. The Piazza, it was a... Uh, it was, it was from Leaf. It was like a PSA slabbed autographed Piazza card. It was a Buxton Future Stars gold. There's a Will Myers 42. Davies gold. Luke is due to foil. Bernie Williams reprint and Matt Reynolds autograph for the Mets. Well, I can barely. Re if you watch Leaf Greatest Hits, it was in one of those Leaf Greatest Hits breaks. The mixer. I think it was Leaf Greatest Hits with uh, Sterling mixer. Was it Piazza in a Dodger uniform? Reddick. Roger Maris. Tom Watson. This is like a 90s Piazza card, PSA authenticated autograph. Really? No A's? Justin Boer. Reggie Jackson. Rysel Iglesias Gold. Raleigh Fingers reprint.
Halfway home. Oh, I get it. This psychology mojo. Ask you guys the same question that I asked Rasmus earlier. Oh, Neftali Feliz, thick stock, number to ninety-nine. I'm going to uh, redesign the website a tiny bit. Nothing major, but um, just to, I want to put. Right now, it's kind of confusing on the website where you apply to be a member. So I'm going to have this banner made that's going to go underneath the featured breaks, like right between featured breaks and Instagram feed in the calendar like a little uh, horizontal rectangular little banner thing that's just going to say like apply to be part of the group and you click on that and it'll take you to the application that way it's not so hard to find and uh i was trying to figure out um Some little bullet bullet point kind of sales pitchy type of reasons that you'd want to join the group. Jose Fernandez scouting report, Joyzy Relic. What would you guys what do you guys think is the best part of the private group that we have? Like what you know what I mean? Like if you were a new breaking if you were a breaking customer, potential breaking customer, what would appeal to you about our private group? Cliff Pennington Gold. I don't know if you guys have any ideas. Daniel Murphy. Besides all the, you know. TJ House. My biggest selling points are no annoying people in the chat, but I'm not really going to put that. <laughs> we have a good community. Something about how we have a nice, tight, knit, Friendly community, bi-monthly hockey, hockey. <laughs> that's true. Hockey arguments. There's a Jace Peterson negative. Bi-monthly hockey argument. That is a key selling point. We're about due for one of those, aren't we? The fact that I'm not a tool, yeah. I don't think I can put that on the banner. <laughs> Why did I think you guys would give me serious suggestions? Derek Holland Gold. Dewaner Navarro. Jeff Samarja. Furry Arms. True. Am I really the only furry yard armed breaker? I should play that up more. I didn't realize that. No one else has got arms like that? Poor bastards. <laughs> Cream into the mic. Uh, Daniel Norris, gold. James Paxton, foil. All right, fine. I'll think of him myself. Thanks for nothing. God. A lot of help you guys are. <laughs> yeah, Rasmus's suggestions were far superior. No gloves. I don't show my face during the break. Yes, these are all true. I can't say any of the things you guys have said are wrong. They just don't really look good on a banner. Ooh, Jackie Robinson commemorative team logo pin for the Dodgers. Denny D. Hmm. 
I don't wonder where that Piazza card is. There's a Maeda Gold Rookie. Look at that. Hitless pack sometimes. Brad Miller. I need to change the name of the Hitless pack. There's Piazza. They're not even really Hitless packs. They're sorry you got nothing even top loadable packs. Terry! I got it. I got one of the bullets should be Terry is here. Swede friendly. Rasmus, I could put Swede friendly. Could tap into that gigantic Swede breaking market that we haven't been able to get into yet. Dominic Brown. Scott Van Slyke. Andre the Hawk Dawson. Commemorative logo pin. Oh, you know what I meant to say? I want to go on record and say that the Arizona Diamondbacks jerseys this year are the ugliest jerseys of all time. In 10 years from now, or 15, 20 years from now, when they show those jerseys, it'll be like when you see terrible, ridiculous jerseys now, and you're like, how is that ever a jersey? Matt Duffy, they're so ugly. Have you seen those things? Marcel Ozuna Black. God, they're so ugly. They have that weird, like, red dot fade thing going on on their hat and on the sides of their sleeves at home. It's terrible. They look like clowns. Enrique Hernandez. Kike. Frank Robinson. Miguel Almonte. Scouting report auto. The Royals. <laughs> Canadians don't get made fun of. Wait, I got a selling point. I, I'll put... Breaker doesn't always get into the break and get all the best spots, but sometimes he does, and definitely gets all the best cards. Javier Baez, that might not fit, though. Breaker promises to only steal all the best cards out of every break once a month. Tommy Malone, negative. Breaker doesn't steal cards 99.9% .9 of the time. What about that? Most of your cards will be shipped to you, if not stolen by Breaker. Or shipped to Robert. Jeremy Je Jeffries, gold. Kike, foil. Cameron Rupp, thick stock. <laughs> Matt Knobs, go to Breaker. I don't even think I ship fast. Philly Peralta. I used to ship twice a week. I used to ship super fast. I hate how slow my shipping is now. I wish it was faster, but... I can't... I don't have the manpower to do it twice a week right now. I might go back. I th I've been telling you guys I might go back to that. It's also just our schedule. It used to be Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, so I would ship... Thursdays and Mondays, but now it's like, when am I going to ship if we do Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, Sunday? It's like, I could ship everything on Saturday, but then there'd be only one day of breaks on Sunday to ship. It just doesn't really work now. I missed the two days shipping, though. That was awesome. <laughs> Almost random, random. <laughs> Randoms are almost legitimate. Uh 
<clears throat> you Darvish. Jim Harbaugh. Eric Hosmer. Most random randoms. Most randoms not rigged. And no randoms rigged for Swedes. Suarez gold. Swedes always get last pick in randoms. Roberto Clemente. All worst teams are reserved for Swedes in randoms. You never have to worry about getting the worst team because Rasmus will always get them in the random if he's in the break. That's a perk. Last box of the case. Uh, nothing crazy from this... This product. I like that Javier Baez uh, own the name was pretty awesome in the last case, but this case, nothing crazy. It's the last case we're doing. I, I usually do one or two of these every year, whatever. Not really a breaker product, but eh. <laughs> you know, whatever. It's fun. Doing this every time, kind of, you know, it's like our connection to original baseball cards. This is the closest to, like, old school baseball cards there is. Uh, Jose Altuve. Futures game. Pin. Out of respect for tops, I do these every year. Where it all started. Jose Abreu, scouting report, Jersey Relic. That looks like it should be a short print, but it's not, doesn't it? So much white on that card. Lance McCullers gold. How's that Bowen mixer filling? Joey Votto, 42, short print. It's all about the connection to the card roots. Yeah. Uh, it's just kind of fun. It's like being a kid again. Opening series one and series two. Series one is the best because it's kind of like the start of the baseball season. Series two, not quite the same. Update is actually kind of fun because sometimes you get really good rookies in there. Bud Norris. Seems like series two is the worst every year, though. I'm just bummed out they didn't put any buybacks this year except for those impossible to hit Griffies and whatever. Bowman Mixer's down to 24. 24. I mean, what other product can you hit Kurt Casilis in? You ever think about that? Oh, is the finals game starting? Dang it. Longoria, we have a Didi Gregorius, negative. Negative Ghost Rider. People still say that. I know I could do a selling point for the breaks. Chat is never crowded. You can always get your word in in chat.
Michael Gibbons autograph. Not a good side when you're number 95. Not a lot of stud players numbered 95. <laughs> Bowling mixer. Dustin Hackley. Anyone watch the o I watched the entire OJ thing. I binge watched it last night and this morning. Boy, was that depressing. If you want your mood ruined for like a month, just watch the OJ documentary. Or whatever, 30 for 30. Eduardo Rodriguez. Anyone else watch that? Turns out OJ is not a good guy. I don't know if you knew that. Not a good guy. Maybe the worst. One of the worst guys. Carlos Rodon. Not cool. Bautista. Look at that weird card. Last pack at a break. That's it. And that's it.